Hello, so quite a few um, people have bubble apps where there are some kind of point system or levels. So if you get 10 points, then you're level bronze. And if you get 100 points, you're level silver, 1000 points level gold. And this walkthrough is gonna go over how to actually do this. First, the really basic way, and then actually creating your own kind of loyalty system, like kind of airlines have their loyalty systems. Okay, so the basic system is, for example, we have a button that people can click on your app. And then when they click this button, for example, they finish a level, or maybe when they pay, they get points. So it could be any button in the app you add these workflows to. And what basically happens is that the current user is changed and what has changed the points they have. And points is just a field type number in the database. So if you, I just go underneath the user, points is just number. And then also I have a field for saving what kind of point level they are. So you notice I'm adding five points only when the text point level is silver. So text point level, so I'm just calling it silver, for example, gold, bronze, platinum, like text. So when the level is silver, then five points are added. For example, when the level is gold, then you could have that instead. 10 points are added. And then you can change the level of the user, for example, to silver whenever they go above 10 points, but are still underneath 100. And they, it goes over to gold whenever it's above 100 and less than 1000. And you would manually just have to set this up for any button in your app if you just have a few levels or a few actions which give users points. But imagine you actually are an airline loyalty system you want to actually onboard 10 different airlines to all have their loyalty systems on your app so this is kind of i guess the maximum complexity how would this work you can still actually do it with bubble quite easily so the first part is you would choose which airlines there are so you can add airlines so you can add an airline so it's just uh, i've created in the database a field called um a data type called company and Basically, you just create a new company with the name of the input. And then the next part is you select a company. So for example, you could imagine the user logs onto the site and it says, select your company. And it shows all the companies. And in a dropdown, searches for companies, shows the name of the companies, and then you can be added as a client of that company. So each company could have a list of clients so we would actually not have it in the user field because then every company could see each other's users in some way so we actually have clients and each client belongs to a company and is linked to a user so each user has a field uh, client and when we click add client we create a new client a user a current user company drop down value then to the company's list of clients, so to the company we've selected in the dropdown, we add the current um, user or client, we save the client and the user, and then we might already want to give the user the first point level. So for example, it could be this user's cl list, client's company's list of point levels. So every company has a list of levels. So for example, uh, British Airways, uh, Airways could have uh, bronze, silver, gold, and American Airlines could have uh, bronze plus, silver plus, gold plus, as an example. And I just sorted it by order number so that every company has like a first level, second level, third level. And I just want to take the always the first level and assign that to the users. So I'm sorting it by the order number, descending no and taking the first item to always immediately give every client who joins the site via bubble the kind of broad status, for instance. Okay, so, and then each company or you as the admin may want to give the ability for companies to add their own kind of point levels. So as you know, at every airline, they have kind of different point schemes. So how you would do this is just have a repeating group of all companies searching for them. And when we click select, all that happens is the selected company of the current user 
is uh, that company. So now they can uh, select that company and add levels to it. That's just one way of doing it. Of course, you could make it safer that only if you actually know that person is part of that company and is an admin, they can do that. But uh, this can be maybe seen in the admin video I posted uh, last week. Okay, and so now we want to create point levels for each company, so bronze, silver, and a point level, it might have an order number, so the first point level, bronze, the second, silver, a name, like bronze, silver, gold, the multiplier, so for example, on bronze, for every euro you spend, you get one point, on silver, you get two points for every euro you spend, and for gold, for every euro you spend, you get 10 points as an example, and then you want a number of points to reach the next level, so after you've reached 100 points, you go over to silver. After 1,000 points, you go to gold. After 10,000 points, you go to platinum, etc. Okay, so then we need a button uh, which just shows the company I've selected. The name of that, when I click that, it creates a new point level. So this is also something in the database I've created a new level. It would be the same with a game, right? Each game has as many levels as you want to add to it. And each level is associated with a company or in a game it would be the sub game for example and then there's a multiply which is a number multiplying it by one or five or ten and then importantly we also always want to know the next level so we want to attach bronze to silver so bubble knows that when we've actually reached the number of points till the next level then we can go over from bronze to silver, okay? And the order number was that bronze is always one, for instance, silver is always two, okay? So we create this point level, the name, the multiplier of the input, the company is the one selected, the order number is what we've added, the number of points to the next level, and then to the company we've just selected, to the list of point levels, we add the point level we just created, so each company then has a list of point levels, Okay, and then we may want to have actions, so each company can set their own actions which result in points being given to members. For so example, if you open an account, 100 points are given to you. If you buy an item under 100 US dollar, 300 points are given to you. Buy an item over 1,000 US dollar, 1,000 points are given you. Inviting a friend gives you 200 points, just as an example. So we just need an action name, like open account, and the points given, like 100. And when we then click this, this action is created. So action is also in the database, a new thing with a name and points given. And for example, um, in the underneath app data, as you probably know, every thing that you create in Bubble has a unique ID. So for all these actions for each company, you can then, when someone clicks a button like this share button, you can actually search for um, the action you want to kind of link to this button. So for example, here we would just do we want to make changes to the user probably and then the points given would actually be uh, not plus five but actually based on the action and the unique ID in the database of exactly that action we've just created. So action, um, I don't know, add a friend has the unique ID, just an example, 12XXXD. And then it looks up um, this uh, action first items, it would have to be points given. So then this way, actions are actually associated with points. Okay. So there are actions you create for companies. With a name and points given and they're saved to each company and therefore become searchable in the database. And then here we just have, all, uh, for example, all actions of that one company. This is just as an example, or in a similar way, as I just showed you, you could actually search in the database for always the right action to add to each button. And then when you actually press this to simulate the action, so 
maybe I show you in a preview first, as, as this could be quite confusing and it's very multi-level. So I can create a new company like, I don't know, uh, we've already got quite a few airlines, uh, Qantas. I don't know how to spell it. I hope this is correct. Uh, Qantas is here now. It's a company. Now I can uh, choose, for example, to be added to uh, American Airlines and select American Airlines. And then here I see all point levels of American Airlines. So I can add a fourth one called uh, platin, uh, Platinum with a level multiplier of two and I don't know, 20,000 points to reach that level and add it. So now we've got bronze, silver, gold, platinum are the levels of American Airlines. And of course, if I click British Airways, it just has two maybe, or Turkish has none yet because I haven't created them yet. And now we can see the next level of bronze is uh, silver, and the next level of silver is gold, but gold has no next level yet. So we want to click select to add uh, gold to our selection. And then we want to click make next level off. Now we see platinum is the next level of gold. To um, do this, what we just had to do is just uh, on the second button, we add the, the point level to our current selection. This is just a type point level. And then make the next level of, this is just um, to the one we've just selected, we make the next level, which is type level, what we've just selected. So going back again to point level, Remember, every point level has a next level type next level, and every user has a point level or the selected level, which I, as the admin, might use. Okay. And now, when we've got this here of uh, American Airlines, we want to add different actions like uh, buy item above 1,000, and the points given for that are 1,000. And then we can see this is added to the different actions. So these are all the actions. And then basically, whenever I click this button, what I want to happen is I want the current user's points to go up, current user's actions to be done to go up, and then it's to always for it to always check whether I should be upgraded from bronze to silver or from silver to gold or gold to platinum. So to do uh, this, first, let's look at the easy to do buttons, the reset buttons. So this, this button just resets the current user's points to zero and the number of actions done, because you might want to count that. So two numbers just to zero. And then this button resets the level always to um, the first level, for example. In this example, it's actually only American Airlines level one, but you can choose this yourself, of course. Okay, and now when we click simulate user taking this action, we have to first save the point level the user starts out with. So if they're currently bronze, to save bronze because we're going to change the level in this workflow. So therefore, it's better to first save it before we change it so that it doesn't happen too quickly for a bubble. And then the next thing we want to check already now whether when we do this action, for example, um, where we gather 100 points, whether this will already take us to the next level from bronze to silver or not. So to do this, we take the current sales actions points given. So for example, 100 points given times the start levels multiplier. So every user has a start level. So if bronze is my start level, the multiplier may be one. If platinum is my start uh, level, the multiplier would be two, for instance. So we take the points times the multiplier and then add how many points I already have. And if this is greater than how many points are needed to go to the next level from my current point level, so my current point level is number of points to the next level, then I would have next level reach as yes. Otherwise, I would have no if it's smaller than instead of greater than. And then what I do is if the next level reaches yes, so the state we just set, then I would upgrade the point level of the current user to be the level I just saved at the start, so the start level, but of that, the next level. And then if that's also the case, then I want to, I still want to take the start levels multiply in this example, 
Um, for example, uh, my start level is silver. I want to take silver's multiplier and times it by the current cell's actions point given. And then I want to just add zero because this is just um, up to me. I want to make it so that every time you reach a new level, your points are resetted to zero. So it's just zero plus how many points were given. Of course, this is up to you how you want to do it. And then we just increase the number of actions the user has done by one. And then if we don't actually reach the next level, it would just be the start levels multiplier, so 1 or 2 or 2.5 times how many um, points are given for that action, plus how many points I already have. So um, kind of to repeat uh, again, because it is definitely not uh, simple, every company has point levels, which have multipliers and number of points to reach the next level, and each level is linked to the next. So silver is linked to gold, gold to platinum, and then each company has kind of actions. So an action could be open account or buy an item under hundred dollars or invite friend. And when you actually do this action, we update the current user's points and we check whether the updated points would actually give the user a new level or the same level. And then at the end, we actually calculate the points of that user. And to do that, we set it set a state to first save the starting level of the user before we do anything, and then check whether we're going to reach the next level or not. And then based on this, we update the current user's point level and the points of the user. Okay, so if we see the example, we've got zero points, zero actions done, and levels brass. And we click added email, and it's increased by one. We can see here that for bronze, I need 250 points to reach the next level. So I can click that a couple of times, and it's still uh, equal to, so it needs to be above 250. So now above 250, suddenly we jump uh, to 50 again, because if you remember the workflow, we set it to zero as soon as we go above le a level and we still take the multiplier of brass. Multiplier of brass is one. Okay, and then if we, for example, invite a friend, we can see it's 317 because the multiplier of silver is 1.333. So by item under 300, we increase it by 300 times 1.3 is 400. So it should be 717, I think. And it is indeed. And I can click this a few times. And now I'm over to gold. And then I can even do this one. I'm still gold, still gold, still gold. And now I'm platinum. And so basically it always just updates the level of the user and the points, depending on what we added here to each company. And we can do that for each company. So you could also have a game with different levels and do this for every level in a similar way. Hope this helped you for short tips on bubble, which you can actually sort by skill level and by the category, check tipbeside.com, link below. Cheers.